Finance Minister Matthias Coleman, and you have a deal. Uh, well, you know, we are pleased that we've been able to secure the necessary uh, support in the Senate to uh, pass our income tax relief, which, uh, of course, is good news for millions of working uh, Australians. Uh, it's um, good that the government is uh, in a position to keep faith with the Australian people to deliver on what was, of course, a central election uh, commitment. And uh, that means, uh, you know, more money into the pockets of mm. hardworking Australians. Uh, it will mean more jobs uh, because, of course, it will stimulate the economy. How did you get Jackie Lambie over the line? Uh, well, you know, while the Labor Party has been playing political games and, you know, to the point where they were moving amendments to change the title of the bill, uh, Senator Lambie and, and indeed uh, Senator uh, Patrick and Senator uh, Griff were working with the government uh, through our income tax uh, package. Uh, obviously, we were mm. seeking to persuade them of the importance, uh, the economic importance and the fiscal responsibility of our package. And, uh, you know, as we've said, we're always prepared to talk uh, to our Senate colleagues about policy issues of concern to them and to their constituents, and that's what we've been doing. Did Jackie Lambie have a convincing argument when it came to the $157 million in social housing debt that Tasmania owes the Commonwealth? Well, millions of Australians today are very grateful uh, to Senators uh, Patrick and Griff and to Senator Lambie for uh, offering their support for uh, income tax relief and for mon more money into their pocket. And, and that is on behalf of millions of Australians. The any... government is very grateful Sorry to, to interrupt, them. Minister, now, in, 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 was now, there any well, in, in relation, in, in, I, know, I know what you're sort of keen on, but as we've always said, we're always prepared to talk mm. about policy issues of concern to our uh, crossbench Senate colleagues. But all of these judgments have to be made uh, on their own merit. And, you know, of course, we've agreed with um, those uh, crossbench colleagues to continue to work with them through those issues. Okay. and. You know, obviously, um, in relation to energy prices, for example, the government has a long-standing commitment, which is well documented, uh, to bring uh, energy prices down. We've got a whole range of measures, including to bring uh, more domestic uh, gas into the, um, yeah. into the uh, uh, electricity market, which have previously been announced. And, you know, we've had a lot of very good discussions, and, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I think we have an understanding about the way forward, and there'll be announcements in the future when, you know, all of the relevant final decisions okay, are made. OK, so you're openly considering the request well, <coughs> from Jackie Lambie? We've, what, we, what we have said is uh, that we are always prepared to work in good faith with our crossbench mm -hmm. colleagues in relation to issues... Do you think it's a reasonable are, request from her, Well, though? you know, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to uh, provide any running commentary. She can talk for herself, okay. and she's certainly uh, been a very forceful advocate. Do you think advocate. she thinks she's got a deal? <clears throat> Senator Lambie has been a very forceful advocate and today millions of Australians are very grateful that she will help ensure that they, get, that they can get more money into their pocket as of next week. Um, she has raised issues with us. We're very happy to work through these issues uh, with her uh, and, you know, obviously when we are in a position to make further announcements down the track, we will. So still sticking to your no deals, no horse trade? We, we, today is about tax cuts and any other issues that are raised with us have always got to be uh, assessed and determined on their own merit. So there's nothing... No shingles being well, hung out, I, I, any sweetness? I, I, think, I, think, I think that my statement stands for itself. Uh, this is a very important reform for millions of Australians who will end up getting, uh, ending up with more of their own money in their own pockets. How many people uh, will get that money next week? Uh, well, obviously it depends on, uh, you know, with what speed people lodge their tax return, but uh, essentially from the end of next week people can receive up to $1,080 into uh, their bank account or by cheque, whatever way they receive their tax refunds. And uh, it obviously depends on the timing that people lodge their tax returns. OK, Matthias Coleman, appreciate your time. Always good to talk to you.